Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is another video to um, address a lot of you um, that try to upgrade to a new version of Windows 10 so do, you'll want to go to a new feature update. There are several things that can happen that actually make you um, give you know gives an error message or will prevent the upgrade it will roll back for example. Uh, one of them is third-party antivirus. Uh, it is one of the uh, well-known reasons why um, the feature updates don't upgrade. You know, um, antivirus software does a lot of things. And third-party antivirus, of course, do things differently from the core antivirus that's with Windows, which is the Windows Security app. If you use the Windows Security app, you're okay in general for feature updates because Microsoft knows it's antivirus and pretty much deals with the upgrade in a process that it knows it's going to be okay. Although they often try to make it uh, uh, make it work, one of the known things is that antivirus software is often a little behind and not necessarily following the trends of the new feature updates that sometimes change things. So it's important to know that third-party antivirus are a big cause of feature update fails. And so if you do have a problem and you are using, you know, Norton or McAfee or, um, you know, Malwarebytes or any other uh, third-party antivirus, uh, if the upgrade fails, the best thing to do is remove the antivirus, third-party antivirus you're using. Then once it's removed, do the feature update, upgrade. And there's a good chance that di just that is going to actually have you move on to a newer feature update. And of course, if you want to reinstall it, you can reinstall it after. But there's a lot of things that can go wrong, especially with third-party antiviruses that, you know, check everything, some block uh, file access to certain files or certain folders. And, of course, it's going to block it sometimes to Windows also. So third-party antiviruses are often the leading cause of uh, failed upgrades to newer Windows 10 versions. So just remove it, try the upgrade, and chances are it actually probably is going to work. And then, well, if you want to reinstall it, it's up to you. You can reinstall your favorite uh, security software, whatever you're using, uh, after the upgrade is done. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.